Imbued with its fanciful and fantastical dreams of the future, magical realism encapsulates not only the optimistic hopes of the world to come, but also the pragmatism to go out there and build the dream. On today's episode of HF Inspire, we'll be peering through the looking glass into the wonderful world of the magical realism trend, with all its hopes, dreams and possibilities for the future. Let's explore how this look can be achieved with the products we stock, such as designs from Home Fabrics, Christian Lacroix and Designers Guild. The about turn our lives have taken in the past few years has also presented an opportunity to push the reset button and reevaluate the way in which we work, consume, and connect. These diversified responses are reflected in magical realism through an abundance of iridescent finishes and flourishes that change our reality depending on how the light hits it. It's a trend that plays off on our feelings, moods, and affinities. There's a certain flow to it, yet also a certain unpredictability. And it's in this contradiction we think the true magic lies. In this cocoon of dreaming state, the world beyond us seems hazy and indistinct. We have time to reflect on our lives and our interconnectedness with every other living thing. This is a trend defined by subtle beauty, seen through glistening shears and crystalline structures. A hopeful theme, full of renewed wonder at the world around us and opportunity. The magic in magical realism is not overt or extravagant. It's a subtle element to an otherwise ordinary space. The feedback palette we've chosen is inspired by otherworldly shades such as coral and blush pink, muted purple and ivory bone, paired with unexpectedly arresting colours such as ultramarine blue and a bright sap green. They perfectly represent the natural world while also providing that touch of flair. We're going to be looking at mood boards from Manipur from Designers Guild, Utopia from Christian Lacroix and Travellers from Home Fabrics. Starting with Travellers from Home Fabrics, as you can see here, it's a beautiful graphical drape in the tribe design and mist colorway. The sort of glistening look with the sun's rays pouring through all day most certainly emphasizes the magic and magical realism. But it won't overstay its welcome or command any unwanted attention. When we talk about subtlety, this is what we mean. It's present, instills the fantasy, the idea, the theme, but it plays softly in the background, leaving room for other notes to be heard and acknowledged in the space. This is what we'd want to pair with those coral pinks, sap greens and ultramarine blues. Walking that line is so important to build a world that feels exciting and inviting, yet doesn't generate so much boldness to overwhelm the mind or weigh one spirit down. It's the perfect starting point for us. Next, let's take a look at Manipur from Designers Guild, one of the absolute trend-setting leaders of the textile industry. Trisha's understanding of colour and trend is unsurpassed since she founded Designers Guild in 1970. Manipur is really just an exquisite collection of rich pile velvets in a cleverly scaled honeycomb geometric. Velvet in general works marvellously with this trend. It shifts and shapes depending on the light and the angle of view and offers an absolutely exquisite feel to the skin. I'd like to focus in particular on the pinks, greens and blues here. Also pay attention to the subtle detail of the metallic ground. How I describe this is a deep blue sea, blanketed with coral pink skies and then far from the distance, a green island awaiting at sunset. This scene is what we could see with our own eyes one particular evening but the texture of velvet and its sheen brings that tinge of fantasy that sets it off with otherworldly flair. Last but not least, we have Christian Lacroix's Utopia, a gorgeous collection of wallpapers and fabrics displaying various facets of a fantastical paradise. In particular, I'd like to talk about Algae Bloom, Paradise Agate and Atlantis Orb. 
With Algae Bloom, we have Victorian-esque floral design with elements of fantasy and detailing here is just stunning. The design and craftsmanship is second to none. With these deep blues, low-key greens and powdered pinks, they'll truly complete the look we're going for and tie everything together beautifully. There are two variations on this design with a cotton sateen ground and also a cotton velvet ground. Paradise Agate, similar colours, but now depicting a scene on the shore watching the sunrise. Then we have Atlantis Orb. Now, Atlantis truly is an icon of this theme. The sunken city that has equal parts fantasy and truth in the tale, that is magical realism in every sense of the term. What's great about this is the use of deep blues and pastel pinks with subtle hints of green and yellow to complete it. I think that with Atlantis Orb, the pearlescent ground really comes to the fore. And all of these designs are printed on pearlescent grounds, which adds to a three-dimensional aspect and movement to the panoramics and really drawing you into a dreamscape. With care, thought and intention, this is how we build the magical realism world. And as per usual, Christian Lacroix understood the assignment and framed it as a perfect example. Now, let's chat with Kyle, who is at the Home Fabric showroom, to find out a bit more about his opinion and interpretation of this fantasy-laden trend. What excites me about it is the mysterious or the mystical kind of aspect to that term. Um, and also, it, I think, especially within our industry, it takes you to a place that is undiscovered or that's unknown. And I think that's what creates the exciting aspect about it, to me specifically. It's very colourful, it's not your planes or your neutrals that are being um, showcased in the design of these specific items or fabrics. So yes, I think definitely the, the colour and also the kind of design that is used in the development in the pattern or the picture that they are trying to create. It's really something that's out of the ordinary. And with that being said, in our industry, it gives them the opportunity to explore colour and a very whimsical kind of design. Um, and yet again, tying in with what I said before, it gives them the opportunity to explore something that is different and that is unknown. Magical realism is a broad trend and one that opens up a host of possibilities. To help get you started on exploring it even further, we've put together a mood board on Pinterest. It features beautiful imagery that we believe could spark further creative inspiration in building the space of your dreams. Until next time, I'm Mimi Dreyer and this has been HF Inspire.